Hello. Okay, hopefully all this setup works. Apologies for long delays. I haven't doing anything. But, uh, work's gone a bit crazy. I think all the customers that have had jobs pending from earlier in the year that have been uh, putting off doing or waiting for parts for, everything's come through at the same time. And they've been in multiple cities for multiple weeks. Uh, you know, mostly programming and uh, you know, commissioning wiring machines. So uh, the uh, Halloween project for this year never got completed on time. And uh, I only just got around to actually uh, drawing the circuit out for it and stuff. I'll do. Um, basically, it's just another, look, this part of it, there's another thing which I haven't completed still. Um, it's just an update to the uh, Halloween eyes, uncanny eyes, to use this new mini display. It's a little wave share, 0.5 inch, which is much, much smaller than the uh, previous. You know, the others were that type of size. I don't know if that's the exact thing. Uh, but um, see, these are much, much smaller. And uh, what my idea was, I wanted to make a an eyeball in a jar type uh, gimmick, or you know, floating eyeballs in a bottle, jam jar, pair of eyes, something like that. And these are small enough to actually fit within a sensible size looking uh, uh, mock up eyeball. So that's the result. I mean, that is in a little glass dome with a cork, the wires are just pushed through the cork. And it's exactly the same little uh, seed, uh, whatever they call them, um, as the original one, just with a slightly updated program that's got some extra options to configure it for this display and uh, options to disable the blink, the eyelid blink, and the random movements because obviously the pupil doesn't move within an eyeball. I mean, Forget the actual overall appearance of this. Uh, as an artist, I'm a pretty good mechanic. And this was very rushed uh, just to try and get it to look something like. Oops, it's just fallen out. I will always take it out and show it. Um, all it is uh, is uh, a couple of sheets of toilet tissue. Um, I put a layer of cling film tight over the end of a slightly smaller dome, stretched the paper over it and then went round with some just some model glue, solvent glue, uh, and just soaked it to harden it over the front of the dome, over the kind of hemisphere at the front. Left it overnight and then carved the hole out. Uh, unfortunately I slipped there so it's got a bit of a, a ragged tear in it. Then with the display just recessed back, it didn't look too brilliant when I was first experimenting with it. So what I've got now is a little lens. There are 18 millimeter lens, which you can get from AliExpress and various places. Um, there are Plano convex lens. So flat on one side and very, very deep on the other. I think they're made for little, some kind of little pencil torches or something like that. They're very, very cheap, a few pence. And it's just one of those, just resting on the display, then with the hardened paper wrap over it, and the connectors bent, the cables just bent very sharply to so it all fits in. And then it's kind of rotated to give the best effect. You can see it looks a bit square on there, because I say it's only, it's only paper. Uh, it could be made a lot better than that. It's just paper literally tied together. Uh, and then bit, bit, dabs of food colouring with um, a cotton bud. Uh, and a um, bit of water to make it blend in a little bit to give an appearance. It doesn't look too bad at a distance possibly, but uh, it's not, not clever close up. You can see it's literally just all tied together around the wires. Um, so that's, that's basically it. Um, these don't. These are very similar 
to the originals in some ways, but they're not exactly the same control and not exactly the same configuration. So you do need an updated program or you get a slightly off-centered negative image. It looks very weird. So I've added the new updated program and information on the original web page. I'll put a link to that. Uh, so you can uh, have a play with this if you want. I mean, I think they've got possibilities for some interesting little gadgets. They say we're better eyeball. Could do with actually some kind of small plastic shell, like a, a scaled down table tennis ball, or even possibly a table tennis ball at a distance. It look, wouldn't look too bad. And cut a hole in it and uh, just paint it up appropriately. Okay, and these these are very very cheap. You can get pack, small packs of things like four or half a dozen or ten or something like that, depending on the size online and it's just convenient that's just big enough to take that and uh, with the wires sprung right it fits at a reasonable angle so the wiring on these obviously they've got a, ca a connector and cable rather than you need and solder directly to them so you can just solder all the wire i just cut all the pins off the ends of the connectors and solder them directly on you could just plug them in if you put pins on the thing, you could plug them in. Another thing is you've got both the power and backlight on the 3.3 volt. Everything's working through the 3.3 volt regulator on the module, the CPU module. And the backlight doesn't need a resistor. And if you look at the schematic, you can see I've also added the wire colours just to make it a bit easier to match up the labels they are all labeled against the pins but i've added the wire colors as well and like i said at the end of the page the web page uh, if you link, look at the link below uh, if you at the end of the web page i've added um some information on the extra three configuration options but in, in essence one of them changes the config the, the initial configuration of the display uh to allow it to work properly on this controller IC because this is a different IC but it's instruction sets compatible. It's just the centering is a little bit different and it's negative so there's a few changes to give the correct <laughs> correct display as you can see on that one. This hasn't got an LC uh, an, uh, LC LDR connected so the the pupil variations are random it would be better with the LCD than as especially if it was set up so someone looked at it they moved into it but put it in shadow and the uh, the pupil expanded when they moved in front of it that could be quite effective but uh, again for speed and just to get something to show you um, that's not got it I don't even know where the, uh, the spare LDRs are at the moment I only, only had a couple of other things. Um, yeah, so one change, one setup option changes it to the suit the display itself. The other two are if if they're not commented out, one disables the eyelids. Obviously, an eyeball, a bare eyeball can't blink, and the other one disables the looking around effect because again, the people can't move separately from an eyeball if it's a a, a bare eyeball. So they're just uh, extra bits to allow that as an option. But the main one is you can use these displays if you wish to, to put the eyes into smaller things. Like you could, I don't know, if you wanted to fit them into a creepy doll or something like that, a yeah, doll's head uh, or animal head, you know, dummy. Um, it just allows more possibilities if you've got a suitable creative uh, bent. And you've got some abilities out, which I haven't. <laughs> anyway, um, hope that's of interest. And oh, just on the side, I'm all trying a slightly different audio setup because I had comments about how uh, nasty my audio is sometimes. So I've now got the two um, MXL pencil mics I use sometimes on an overhead rig pointed straight at me. And uh, they're being recorded on the little handle zoom recorder there. Um, oh. Uh, well, there would have been. It's so long since I've used this, I've forgotten how to use it. I thought I'd, I thought I'd put it on record. <laughs> uh, as you can see, 
it's on. It's, I saw the uh, meters moving as I was talking. Um, if you can see that, the meters are moving, the light's flashing, but it's paused zero time. So apologies for that. The audio is going to be the uh, usual one from the phone. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Uh, try again next time. <laughs> right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll also hopefully when I get a chance post uh, a, a bit about some of the work I've been doing. I can't show the customs machines or anything, but I can show generic machines of the same make or series and some examples of the PLC programming code and the type of thing I've been doing on them. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more. It helps the channel.